Yeah, this is an ongoing body of work that sort of parallels my ongoing video work as well, which I see as growing and mutating until I die. And I keep on, I've created these two vehicles. I, I do other projects as well, but these are two ongoing vehicles for, uh, for encompassing my work that I do on an ongoing basis, like on a daily basis. And in this instance, in the photo, in the photography uh, medium, I'll be carrying my camera around with me uh, it's in my bag. So it's more of a it's more of an experiential ontological process. So it's about trying to determine and understand is too comprehensive and uh, you know all encompassing a word. Not understand my place, but sort of try to reflect and think about my relationship to the world as I'm moving through it and being in it. So in a way, this is sort of my philosophical positioning by doing this type of uh, orchestral display and. Each iteration has a different uh, subtitle or colliery title. And it, uh, in this case, this expansion, this is the largest version I've, I've done of it to date. It's, um, it's allowed me to uh, explode some of the themes. The installation is developed into clusters, and, or nebulas as they refer to it. In this case, uh, of a meaning and created within, when using form and color and juxtaposition to create uh, sort of a contiguity and uh, using like metaphorical sort of relationships of uh, synecdoche and autonomy for the photographs to talk to each other basically and have a conversation and for you as a viewer to enter into this with your, your own baggage that you bring to the gallery or to the museum and, and interact with the works as, as you see them. In my practice I've, I've, I've thought of as uh, the, the interstitial and looking at the in-betweenness and how that area of uh, ephemerality between polarities of geography, history, uh, politics, and a movement can be concretized. So making uh, real or making concrete the ephemeral, this, this, this state that we pass between and don't usually acknowledge because we're coming from point A and going to point B. But some people are in this state for all their lives, as in uh, like Palestinian refugees, for instance, that can't go back home. Uh, Palestinian refugees in Lebanon that can't go back home and can't become professionals because it's against the law to become a professional if you're Palestinian in the major 70 professions in Lebanon. So for instance, and then now there's like three generations of Palestinian refugees and now the Syrian refugees are also augmenting the situation there. So just to illustrate that term, interstitial, and then, and then us in our daily lives, uh, we all have, we all experience the interstitial in some way or point of being in between uh, practices, being in between geographies, or being in between politics.